very, very happy. John Haitinga, who's managed to change into his Everton jersey, and Bolo Zenden as well, alongside Michelle, me. Michelle, look what it does to this guy, you know? They haven't won at Anfield since 1999, and that's why you take on your shirt. Well done, John. Congratulations. I absolutely love it, John. I mean, I'm just, just how happy are you? Try to put it in words for me at the moment. No, I'm still celebrating. No, this is a massive win uh, for all the Evertonians, especially for the fans. Uh, th 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 this means a lot. And unfortunately, today, uh, the, the fans couldn't be there in the stadium, but they deserve to win this night. They were so solid in the defense. And, and what I said, you know, Liverpool, they will give chances, uh, spaces away and, and Liverpool, Everton can get, you know, some chances. So it was an unbelievable good night for us. Bolo, what do you think for Liverpool players and what do you think they're feeling right now in the dressing room? What do you think are going through the players' minds? Well, it's, a, it's, it's a big blow. It's definitely uh, getting worse and worse for Liverpool at the moment. Uh, we spoke before that they are well off the pace this, this year. Um, of course, they have bad luck, but it has to come from somewhere. Uh, it's not the best moment in time to be in the dressing room. Uh, I'm not sure if even uh, Klopp at the moment has all the answers. Um, I'm not sure he's, if he's been in this situation before, although he's a very experienced manager. But um, all credit to Everton, the Blue Noses. They had, a, they had a game plan and it worked for them today. As we said, they didn't really need to make the game because the game was made for them. They, they defended um, very well, very compact. And uh, like John explained before, with the, the pace, the speed of Richarlison, they could do harm. And in the end, uh, they even got a penalty when uh, Cavaloos got fouled. But hey, you never walk alone, eh? Too very <laughs> contrasting there. I mean, the emotions of Evertonians right now, the emotions of Everton players, staff, everybody in that club. We saw Duncan Ferg Ferguson getting emotional there. I mean, this has got to be the height of their season. Yeah, Duncan Ferguson, you know, he's a legend over there. And, and the situation is changing at Everton, eh, in Liverpool, because they're investing a lot of money. And what you see, they have a really good squad. And they can win from all the teams and the, the last performances, especially at Goodison Park. But if you want to be and you want to uh, attack the top four, you have to win games, you know, uh, against uh, Fulham, the game that they lost. Of course, against City, you can lose the game. But today they, they, they show uh, their quality and they can beat all the teams in, in the Premier League. And what I said, hopefully they can surprise us all and hopefully, you know, they can go back into Europe. But my concerns a bit, John. Uh, my concerns a little bit if, if we talk about Everton. Of course, they had a perfect game plan. Uh, I mentioned before, uh, they're doing really well, as you said, uh, with uh, Marcel Braun's technical manager. They brought in yeah. a lot of quality, a lot of good players. Even Ancelotti is the guy that can bring in the quality players. They're, they're still building, you know, they're, they're not there yet. It's, it's, it's obvious that a, a manager needs time. But um, to really go for it. You know, there's, there's a transition period where um, now they can still play a little bit from the, 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 from the back. But as soon as, you know, there, there's, somewhere down the line, there's this moment where um, you can't rely anymore on uh, letting the other teams uh, dominate the game and take your advantages. Because when you start gathering points, when you're getting higher up the table, I mean, the teams that you face will do exactly what you do to them, you know? So you have to come up with a different game plan. Yeah, yeah. Do you think Ancelotti yeah. will be able to do this with his team? Yeah, he is able to do that. And I totally agree with you. You know what Everton is doing now? They're building a new stadium. And in the past, what you see is like players like James Rodriguez. Uh, if they perform well and they do it, you know, and what they do it now eh, in, the, in the Premier League, hopefully, you know, other players will join Everton to bring it uh, to a higher level. And that is how I see it. With Marcel Brands, the technical director, is doing an unbelievable good job. And with experience of uh, uh, Ancelotti, and hopefully he will stay a longer period than I, if, uh, at, at, uh, at Everton. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, I think they can, they can make the next step because the money is there. And I think the structure, how they work at the moment is good. Yeah, what I also mean with that is that, as I said, is that the... the 
the, the way Everton play today suits the bill. You know, they didn't really need to make the mm. play. Uh, they could just wait and then obviously play on more, we call it the Italian job, what they did today. But it worked for them. But as soon as they, if they want to go uh, uh, higher up, when they start playing the teams like Liverpool, Arsenal, Tottenham, uh, uh, even West Ham at the minute are doing a good job. Uh, when they play City, you, you can't get away um, when, when you play the smaller teams, playing it in yeah, this I style. I, I agree. I agree, you know, but what I see and what I think, you know, uh, like tonight, uh, they showed you don't have, uh, that you don't have to have that much ball possession. But they have also players in the squad with a lot of quality on the ball and hopefully in the future, uh, other players will join them. And I think uh, if they perform like this, uh, they 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 are a club are interest, uh, interesting, you know, for other players to to join Everton. And they in in the uh, the way you know the game plan worked out tonight, and now they have to find uh, another strategy, uh, and especially against team that who uh, who defending as well. And I think you know with Ancelotti, they can do that. They can do that. I totally agree with you anyways when we said uh, ball possession. I mean, what does it mean? I mean, it's good to have ball possession, but what do you do with it? I mean, Liverpool got there in the second half a few good times, but it didn't create the biggest chances, you know? So Everton defended well. And then if, if you look at second half, maybe it was about 80 to 20% ball possession. But out of that, how many real big chances did they get? I mean, they got far, but they didn't get all the way. No, the, the defense, you know, defensively, the Everton did a great job. And, and, and they can do that. And what you said, uh, Liverpool, you know, they had 80% ball possession, but they didn't create many chances. And that's why all the credits to the way of playing of Everton. And, you know, if you see the, the players up front from Liverpool, normally they make the difference and they have the quality. But what I saw tonight with Mane, it was just frust- he was just frustrated. He was just frustrated. Yeah, but we, we know why he was frustrated, because he, he wasn't capable of keeping the ball he wasn't capable of creating his chances. He had a few good chances in the beginning of the second half. That was the first time we actually saw him with the with the two headers that he um, that he had. Um, there wasn't the big chances, but at least he was there. And after that, he faded away again. So for me, the, the most disappointing um, player for me uh, uh, in this game was was Monet. 